Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a first let's play in a long time, actually. This is going to be The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And as you'll probably know by the border and all that, I'm playing this on my Game Boy, or Game Boy Player for the GameCube. Because the GameCube is freaking awesome. I don't know why more people don't appreciate it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna make this full size. Eh, let's change the frame. Something a little snazzy. Something we can all see and love and hate and all that fun stuff. Um, uh, you know, actually, I don't really see much of a border. <laughs> and blame my TV for that. Oh well, we'll go back to zero, one, whatever. What a good way to waste a good two minutes of a. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so I've played this a buttload before. And it is actually one of my favorite Legend of Zelda games. Uh, I don't know all the secrets of it, but my god, do I love it. Uh, let's see. So, let's start a new file. As you all know, I am the gamer. Dar. E. U. Sa. Or Darius. Daru. Daru. Yes, I am Daru. We start with. Three hearts. Uh, uh, oh god. Oh Jesus! Huh, what the hell? Oh hey, hey, how you doing, redhead chick uh green hair chick? Oh what a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, oh, my name is Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Koho Length Island. Uh okay. Thanks. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where you I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? Okay. Sure. Well, are you? You finally snapped out of it. Name's Tarin. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? Well, you think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of this here shield. Oh, Tarin, you clown. You got your shield back! Woo! You can use the flip enemies! Uh, 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 yeah, flipping my enemies. Cobalt and Thailand. Yeah! Again, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Didn't change that back. It's only on short. What the hell? Oh. Again, this is one of my favorite uh, Legend of Zelda games. In fact, my favorite. The one I've played the most. Even despite its uh, little flaws here and there. Not that I see, I personally see them as flaws, but still. So, if we keep on following this path headed to the south, we'll run out of path. No. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now, these guys also block the way. We could go the long way. There is no long way. There's only this way, where we push these spiky guys. Yeah, push them. Oh Jesus, no! Whew, that was close. Push the spiky guy. Oh God. You. Oh, oh. oh, you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. Um, I just crash landed here, dude. It is said that you cannot leave the island. Unless you wake the windfish. Really? I can't just like charter a ship or something? You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Woo. Gotta hit that guy. Yes! The most important object in any legend is out of the game. You find the sword! It must be yours because it has your name on engraved on it. Do I do that with all the things? Do I have it, like, engraved in my hat? In my shirt? Ah. Anyways, we have our sword. We can attack up, down, left, right, and we also do this nice, nice little arc thing. Like, yeah, I love that arc. You can charge your sword, and use it to slash attack. Boom! Haha. -ha. I will never have to use the shield again! Yeah, cut down bushes. Bushes. And uh, most staple Legend of Zelda games are going to have rupees. Ooh, this is Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. Okay. 
But as most Legend of Zelda staple games, bushes and the like are going to have rupees, hearts, and sometimes even secrets. Yeah. And I'm not going to cover... Ooh. Yeah, hey, I keep on forgetting about this. You got an acorn guardian and will reduce the damage you take by half. And this lasts until you either enter a new area completely, like you go into a building, or you switch to a more mm, smaller area, like going from the beach to Koholint's village here. At least I think that's my name. Koholint? Not very good. No. Maybe. Maybe village. Anyways, pressing select, or in this case Y or Z, or Y or X rather, Z is what brings up this menu, will bring up the map and will reveal what you have as of yet discovered. And no, 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 no. Oh. And if you click the ones that do the do the owls, it will tell you what the owl had said at that location, south of the village. Very descriptive. And it will tell you landmarks and the like. Yeah. But what I'm going to do now is jump into the well. Woo! Yeah! Piece of heart. I got a piece of heart. Woo! Uh, this place looks a little depressing, doesn't it? Now what I love most about this particular game is that it is so unique compared to all the other Legend of Zelda games. Oh, no, no, no! You know, got attacked by the wolf, doggy, puppy. Uh, you can go here for a hint, and the like. I will try to not use as many of those as I can. Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Um, not a crazy loon. Er, um, uh, how to say? Please call outside. It seems that old man er, Rila is a shy guy in person. Okay. If this looks pretty heavy, you won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. But yeah, this is Ulrira, as it's called, and he's the person that we actually call from those little telephone house things. And of course, you attack the chickens, they attack you. This is the shop. This is a lovely shop. Oh yeah, the shop. Now, this is actually pretty fun. The Trinity game. One play is 10 rupees. Um, I don't have enough to play yet, so. The secret of this game is that you get it in that top corner there, and whatever is, I think, directly over the Yoshi doll will be in your possession. So if you do it right now, you would get the magic powder. Magic powder's nice. Oh! Let's see. There's just so many things in this game to cover right off the bat. Boom! There it is. Now, the big thing in this game is the secret seashells. There are, I think, 20 of them? Yeah. No, there are more than 20 of them. But anyways, you collect all... Collect as many as you can, and you bring them to a certain location. You will get an awesome super mega chocolate-covered prize. And, of course, they are shown over there above the weird circle thing that we will get into later. Do, 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 do. Now here's the other shop. This shop is where you actually buy stuff. If you lose your shield from a like like, you can purchase it here. If you're low on hearts, you can purchase three of them here. And the shovel, which is a good five months of chore doing. Haha, <laughs> chicken. Let's see. Uh, rocks we can't lift yet. Not until we have a certain item. We all know what the other is. I just like being mysterious. Let's talk to this item. Because they all look alike, and I am sometimes confused. By the way, do you know Yoshi? My baby keeps on asking for a Yoshi doll. I don't know what to do about it. We all know where that Yoshi doll is, don't we? Yes, we do. Yep. Those are my boys. I'm Papa. Pleased to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me, here. Yeah? And once again, I can't lift any pots. 
Which is a shame because there are some nice secrets and all that fun stuff in pots and pans and stuff. But hey, there's Marin. Hi, Tara went to the forest to look for a toadstool. But I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called the Ballad of the Windfish. Man, I love the Ballad of the Windfish. Don't I, uh, don't ask me why. I just do. Your sleep stuff on it. Okay. Don't ask me why. I just do. I really do. Now up here is one more thing I will show. I will buy some fishing, little buddy. I don't want to charge you ten rupees. Um, uh, not now. But yeah, you have to have more passion. Live a little. But, uh, fishing will be an important thing. I will pretty much try to do right off the bat so I can get it out of the way. But, uh, depending on the size of your the fish that you catch, you can get more rupees or a, another heart. Boom! And this way. To the mysterious forest. A little bit mysterious. I didn't put that in, but it's totally right. No, not you! Oh, oh brave lad. I oh, totally changed his voice. On your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. <laughs> Got it. I just hate Moblins! Oh, geez. I hate trying to use a goddamn analog stick. Uh, what else? But, Moblins take two hits currently. With my L1 sword. Let's see, what's in here? Beware the floors with cracks. A heavy person should not stand on them. I'm not that heavy. I'm an elf boy. I gotta open this from the specific side? I do gotta open it from the specific side. There we go. And I get 50 rupees! Very nice! 